Hey, I know y'all have been waiting for this very lovely video. I haven't done a lot of the city of Austin, but I know many of you are still looking to move to Austin. So I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know, including all of the yummy details that is going to transition you here well. Hey y'all, Angie from out of here, realtor in the beautiful Austin area. And today we're talking about Austin, Texas and what it has to offer you. in the heck is Austin, Texas located? Well, it's located in Central Texas, that's right, in the midst of the hill country. As you can see behind me, you've got some beautiful views, and that is what Austin is really known for, as well as being the live music capital of the world. That's right, I know, we deemed ourselves that, but it's still true. What does that even mean to be the live music capital of the world? Well, it means that most restaurants that you're gonna go to downtown, and even honestly up north and south, you're gonna find people playing live music singing, they're going to be playing their instruments. It gives it such a warm vibe, honestly. If you're going out with your family or you're going out on date night, it's something that you can enjoy with local artists here. Now, how big is this small city? Well, it's not so small anymore, although many locals like to think that it is. It has grown so much over the years. You've got just under a million people who call the city of Austin Home. And in fact, if you look at the biggest cities in Texas, we are right on par with Dallas and Houston, as well as San Antonio. Although Houston is number four when it comes to total population and that one of the largest cities in the US, but within Austin itself, it takes the number four spot of largest cities in Texas. You're probably wondering, all right, Angie, what is the weather truly like here? I think it's something important that I should be telling you because the first thing that you should know is that it's the middle of summer right now. It's July and y'all, it is hot. I do this for the people, okay? I do this for you, but it is burning up. And for the next seven days, for example, it's going to be over or at 100 degrees. I know, sweltering but that hasn't gotten me to move because I still love what Austin has to bring. And that is 200 plus days of beautiful sunshine, which I really love. And what does that let you do? It lets you spend more time outdoors. And that's exactly what we do even during the heat. You can barbecue, you can swim, you can go to Barton Springs, you can hike. There's so much, so much that you can do within the sunshine and having this type of weather that I think the weather that you're looking for in terms of fall that you really love or winter, it can be satisfied with what we have right here in Texas. A lot of you call me and you're like, Angie, if I move to Texas and, or Austin, am I going to encounter tornadoes? And the answer is, eh, it depends on where you live. The more, the more that we see around this area or what we see in this area are more like thunderstorms. Now that is a pretty common thing, but it's not a consistent thing. So you might see that we have a thunderstorm that produces hail. We do have a lot of that, especially in the springtime or so, but it's not something that you should be concerned about all year round. All right, I've talked to you about where Austin is located, the population, the weather, but what about housing? How much is it going to cost you to live in the city of Austin? Well, it's still gonna cost you a pretty penny. Around 588,000 is the median home price as of last month, June. But I will tell you, we've seen a different shift in the market. So in the last few years or so, since that housing boom, if you will, Austin was really unaffordable. I'm just gonna be straight up with you. It was very difficult for me to find homes for clients that they were being outbid on, that the home prices were beyond where they were estimating it would be, that every time they would go to make an offer on property, it would be beat out by a cash offer. All of that was happening uh, in the city, which really put a lot of discouragement or non-encouragement, <laughs> discouragement uh, and my buyers. And so now when you're looking at moving to Austin in 2023 or 2024, for example, we've seen a decrease in that median home price. What does that mean for you? It means that now you can still find some things that are somewhat affordable. Angie, somewhat affordable, I know, I know, I know. Really it's dependent upon what you are truly looking for and where you're looking for. I still got clients competing with other buyers on certain properties, but that's not happening everywhere, which is a good sign for you. You have a lot of options when it comes to resale homes as well as new construction homes. They've got inventory homes waiting for you right now that you can make an offer on in these new home neighborhoods. 
So if you're thinking about moving to the area and you want to talk more in detail about what the market is doing, what it's going to do in the future as you're looking to move here, feel free to reach out. I'd love to chat it up with you. Now that you know that it is possible to move to Austin, Texas and find something affordable, let's talk about one of my most favorite things, and that's food. <laughs> and where I am. I haven't even said that, y'all. I am at the Arboretum right now. I love this place. As you can see, you've got lots of nature, but just behind you, which you cannot see right now, you've got a ton of restaurants. You've got your bulk restaurant, the ones that you will see across the country, like the Cheesecake Factory and Five Guys, but then you've got some local treats that are really near here, like Honest Mary's. That is one of my absolute favorites. I promise you, I drive from Cedar Park to this location to get Honest Mary's at least once a week. I know, a little bit shameful. <laughs> but it really is natural and it's fresh and it's local. And you know I love local food. Another local spot that I really have taken to is a sugar pie. That's right, y'all know I've lived in Japan for three years and then I came back to the US because my mom was in the military, of course, and it has delicious onogari. Mm -mm 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 -mm. If you know what that is, it's basically like a huge sushi wrap that's delicious on the inside. You have got to go there. It's local, it's small. I know that you wanna support them, so you should check out those places. So, what is the nightlife like, Angie? Yes, you're thinking it. What is the parent life like? Well, there's a ton to do on either side. So for example, you wanna go hang out with your friends, you want a chill moment, you go to downtown Austin, the center of Austin, where you can get some local bars and restaurants down there, you can walk the strip, you can really enjoy and encompass the vibe that is Austin weird. For you parents out there, what can you do with your kiddos in Austin? There's actually a lot to do here. To explore all the parks, you can hike, you can take a stroll at the Arboretum, if you will. The Domain is not too far away. You wanna do a little shopping. The one thing about the Domain, though, that most people don't know is that they have this green space. It's not actual grass, but it's turf, where your kids can throw a ball. That's what my kids do. We go, we sit out on the patio, drink a little bit, eat a little bit while we watch our kids play. So that's another thing that you can do, along with all the events and things that Austin has to offer. You still have the public libraries where you can take advantage of that. You can also go to uh, some of the museums that are located downtown, like the Blanton Museum and the Bob Bullock Museum. So we are not sure when it comes to activities and entertainment in the city of Austin. So why should Austin still be on your list of cities to consider moving to? Well, I'm just gonna give you a little bit of my own story. I've been here almost 20 years. I know, 20 years is a really long time for somebody who's bounced around every three years of their life uh, because of military life. And I can't tell you another city that I would really wanna raise my family in. I've chosen it here because it's laid back, it's unique, it's dynamic, it's full of life which I really love, and I've got three little kiddos, so it can handle that, my family life, and taking kids out and making sure they have enough to do, and it can handle my date night life with my husband, which means that I can go downtown Austin and really get into enjoying myself with my husband, listening to live music, but not be, being so far removed from the suburbs. So for me, it's a wonderful place to live. If you've got questions, really deep questions about different concerns that you might have about the city of Austin, please feel free to reach out. I am happy to answer any questions you might have. Hey, are you looking to make a move to the Austin area and you don't yet have a real estate professional? My team and I would love to be the ones to help you. And if you look for more information about Austin or the surrounding areas, don't forget to check out my other videos. And if you're feeling my vibe, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so that you don't miss a thing. And I'll see y'all on the next one.